Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is JP here at Brizzy, and it's been a little bit of a crazy morning here in the house. Uh, eventful, I'd say, because the dogs in the cat corner at the squirrel, and it didn't end very well for the squirrel. Broke my heart because man, it just seems so unnecessary. But, well, yeah, I shared a little bit of a downside of the morning with you. But what we're going to do in Design Basics is bring a little bit of the design concepts and talk about that when we are working with our web design. Because a lot of what we do when we look at websites and website builders or site builders and page builders is to look at how these apps function. And then often we just take those features and we go ballistic and we just enjoy it. And then the end, your site just doesn't look good. And for a lot of newcomers, that is very you know, perplexing. I, I, I got the software. I got this. Why is my website still looking like trash? And often it's just a few things here and a few things there that you do actually too much or you neglect to do that kind of spoils the whole event. So with Design Basics, I'm going to go through tips here and there, look at things that you should consider and give you the golden rules. And I say that in a very ominous voice, the golden rules, because as you know, all rules are meant to be broken. But if you don't know the rule, you don't know how to break that rule accordingly. So it's good that you learn it. What we're talking about today is justified text. And you have used justified text at some point in your life, or at least you know about justified text. But I want to delve a little bit into what justified text is, and then show you where it is in Brizzy Builder, and then talk about why you shouldn't use it. I'm going to start with the bottom line. Don't use it on your websites. Justify text. So for that, I'm going to need some text. I'm going to just go online. And what I do lately is that I will look for text that I can use from real books. And these open domain, what public domain books like Dracula, Frankenstein, these old books, you just go search for it and you will get it on gutenberg.org. They have it there and you can get the text from them. And the reason I want this and not lorem ipsum is because lorem ipsum won't really give us an idea of how text works. Select this, I'll select three paragraphs. And before we go into Brizzy, I'm going to go into WordPress. Ah, not WordPress, Word. Who doesn't know Word? And then we open Word and we paste our text there. And it's going to come in justified already because that is how it is displayed within this web page that we see here in Gutenberg. And this is not Gutenberg WordPress. This is the Gutenberg library, you know, like the big museum, that kind of thing, where all these open domain books are kept. And you can go and check it out. There's a lot of these books. So if you ever need some filler texts that are real text, so you, you can see how it looks, go and have a look and have an idea of how that works. Now, as I have this year, it's already justified. And just to show you what we understand by justification, let me select that. Let's increase this. And then up here, for the paragraph settings in Word, you know this is to the left, then everything is flushed to the left and you have these spaces here on the right, and then you have also the options to put it in the center to the right, but then the one we started with is this one with justification. And this is very normal in books. It gives a nice hard margin on the right, and especially in technical magazines as well, or most magazines, you're going to have justification. But justification runs into a problem when you don't have a lot of space and the width is actually very short. And to show you what happens with justification, I'm going to make this page and or take the page and turn it into columns. So I'll go over here to layout columns over here and let's put it in two columns. Now, when I put it in two columns, you're going to see, well, it's not going to look bad, but you're going to see that at some areas, you have a little bit more space between the words. You see that white space and other sentences like this one here, it's very condensed. It's very squashed together. So that's what justification does, right? It takes and it adds space between the words and to make sure that there is no space at the end. It justifies it. This still looks okay. But look what happens the moment I go to a third column. And now we start to see a lot of white space between words like this. My smattering of German, very useful here. 
and for example this one over here museum and made and and this doesn't look good like this one here after nightfall 2 this is the problem with justification that if your sentence is the space for your sentence is very short or the width it has to add that space and it starts to look very unbalanced and then you get over here which we call a river you see there's a little line that runs like this that runs like this that runs like this and this is just not good graphic design this is what justification does and that's why justification doesn't work when you have the small width now there are ways to get around this but Word is not very good with it. But if you go to a desktop publishing software app like Adobe InDesign or Affinity Publisher, and I'll open Affinity Publisher here just to show you. Create a new document and I'll just go for an A4 and just grab my text frame here. And if you don't know what I'm doing, don't worry, I'm just going to show you what happens. I'll paste the same text again and then just remove those paragraphs. And then I'm going to increase it. Now, it comes in here aligned to the left. So we are going to justify it as well. Select it. And up here, you will see the justification. I've also justified it. Again, it looks pretty good because you have all the space from the left to the right. So adding in a little bit more space between the words, it doesn't disrupt anything. It happens again when we start adding columns. I'm going to add make it two columns and just reduce this a little bit. And over here, you see this ugly thing happened, just two words on this one line with this massive space in between. The other thing I want you just to also stick in your mind while we are here is that currently this font size is at 12. Now 12 is between 10 to 12 is very standard for reading in print. But for website, we tend to go now from 14 to 16. 12 is just, just the limit. 14 is comfortable. 16 is preferable. So you can imagine if I'm going to increase the font size here, we're going to add actually more space. So I'll do that. Let's just see what happens if I bring it up to 16. And look at that. Ugh, it starts to look really, really bad. And this is the major problem with justification. Again, if I just take it down to one column. Oh, what is it? Column one, one down it starts to look better again. If I put it back at three, I just want to show you what often happens to overcome this problem in printing. And that is that we add hyphens. If I select everything here and I go over here, where's my hyphens? Hyphenation and I add hyphenation, you see things suddenly look a little bit better. What has happened is that the software has taken the words and it has cut it up and added hyphens here, like this one, traditions. And this allows for the words to go back to the previous line and it doesn't look that bad, but it still doesn't look that great. Your problem twofold here. Number one is that you're not going to get automated hyphenation within a page builder or a website builder. That's not going to happen. The second thing is that hyphenation actually doesn't work for all readers, if you are not a native speaker, often hyphenation actually disrupts your process of reading. It's very difficult because you see the word and it's very difficult to connect that word no and ble with noble to understand that it's actually noble. And when people see the hyphenation, they're not a native speaker, they get a little bit confused. So hyphenation is to be avoided when we go to website design. So I've shown you everything about justification and a little bit of background behind it so that when we get into Brazil now, you'll understand why I tell you not to use justification. And I thought originally to start with this topic because I see it so often when people on the Facebook forum, they go and they share their sites and I go and check out the sites. There is a very rookie mistake that many make, and that is the hyphenation. So I'm just going to click here on the project and I'm currently in Brizzy Cloud, but it can be Brizzy Cloud. It can be Brizzy WordPress because the builder more or less the same. Let's go to the bottom, bring in one pre-made block, add a new block and I'll select features here under categories. And then this one over here will work perfectly. So these feature 
that we have here. This is very typical that you will find. You will have something here with your icon. And I think this is an icon box. Let me just see. It's a column. So we have elements within the column. Now, let's select the text because that's where we will be working with justification. And your justification and your alignment is done with this third icon sitting from the left. It is set by default to left align. If I click on it, it's going to center align. Another click will right align. And my last click in this section will justify it. You will see those little lines all line up equally. And that gives you the indication that it's now justified. But there's a problem. If you had been listening to the whole little introduction I made at the beginning, you will immediately see that what is wrong here. You see the spaces there, and then you see here, everything is squashed together. And I know what you have in mind. You want everything nicely aligned. You want the left and the right to be like boxed, but you know what? It doesn't look good. And often when you don't know these rules, are you not aware of these ideas out there? You will still persist and go ahead and say, I want justification, so I'm going to use justification. But trust me, don't. You can see here, it doesn't look good, especially if we are working with these columns, smaller text size areas, then you want to avoid justification at all costs. We're going to put it again on the left align option. And that is my advice to you. Just keep things left aligned. Sometimes you're going to put it in the center and we'll talk about that in future basic design videos, especially with headings and subheadings. In some cases, you will align it to the right. That will be a special feature. And I think it's actually often used. But this baby over here, mm -mm. justification, you don't want to touch this one. You may say then to me, but JP, we could have much longer text like the one we just saw on the Gutenberg side, right? Like something like this. Let's create a long text area. I'll bring in another block. And we grab text element, click and drag. Select everything, triple click to select it. Let's see if it's still there. Control V and it's still there. Now, if you want to do this on your site and you want to go for justification, so I'll click until I see justification, this will be your argument. But look, justified text here looks pretty good. And I can't argue with you there. It does look good. Let's just see the text size currently at 16. So it's even a good text size and it, it does look good. If you're going to go for a full width viewport, width. Now the viewport width is all the width from the left to the right. And if you're going to bring in a block and you put in your container with it, like we have done here, then it's going to be okay. But then if you go down, I always say down because it's sorted here from top to down. If you go to your tablet display, you are now reducing your width. And this is where you have to start now thinking, does it still look good? And on tablet, you will need some space here on the left and the right. So for that, we can bring in a margin, maybe. Yep. Let's bring in a margin here on the left as well. And you will need that space. Otherwise, it's going to just look weird. And it still looks fine. And then if we go to mobile, let's see where's mobile. Now things begin to look strange. So let's also bring in some margins here. If I had put it inside a column, I could have worked with a column. I can also work with padding, but I'm adding margins now. Padding would have worked very nicely here, just to give you the idea. So here you begin already to see that effect that we talked about where there's too much space and then other places it's cramped again together. This doesn't read well. In this event where it does work for your desktop and it does work on your tablet, then you go to your mobile and you click here and you can make changes to it and justify it accordingly where it should look good on the mobile. And that's justified text. So in general, I would recommend you stay away from justified text. Do not use it in headings. Do not use it in subheadings. Do not use it in descriptions. Do not use it in info boxes. Do not use it in short paragraphs. If you have a thesis or a very long document for some reason that you are posting to your site, you may go and justify it. Some people will do it in their blog posts because it 
it's a lot of written text that you find in blog posts. But then if you do go that way and you have it at a font weight of 16 and it looks good and you don't see the rivers in, you know, being created between the text, then you have to go and check for the responsive display on tablet and after that on mobile. And I would say your mobile is always going to give you trouble. And in that case, you go to your settings, click on the text element, find your alignment setting over here and set it where you want it to be. In this case, we're going to justify it to the left. Hope this little bit of insight into justifying text when working with websites was useful and will help you to make better looking websites. From me, JP, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in the next video.